What does it mean to be set apart for God? Let's look at Acts chapter 13 for our lesson today. Paul and Barnabas and three men from other countries were at church in the city of Antioch. While they were there, they fasted and worshiped God. And to fast means to go without food. While men were praying, the Holy Spirit told them to set apart Paul and Barnabas for a special task. To be set apart means to be chosen to do something special. The Holy Spirit wanted Paul and Barnabas to go out to different parts of the world and to tell people about Jesus. When the Holy Spirit was finished speaking, the other men walked up to Paul and Barnabas and laid hands on them and prayed for them that they would be protected as they went out to preach. After the men had prayed and Paul and Barnabas then sailed on a boat to the island of Cyprus. This was the beginning of Paul's first missionary journey. So when we look into the Bible and we see, let's look at 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. And we're looking at set apart. It says, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his possession, so that you may proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. It says, for you are a holy people belonging to the Lord your God. The Lord has chosen you to be his own possession out of all the people of the face of the earth. We can go on. Let's look at Psalms, Psalms 4, 3. Know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. 2 Corinthians, it's just so much about being set apart for God. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 17. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch any unclean thing, and I will welcome you. Come out from the world, he's saying. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out from there. I want you to be set apart for me to do my bidding, to do my work. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this age. Mm, this is the right scripture. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is good and pleasing in the perfect will of God. I pray that you be set apart today, that you answer that call.